Oh, all right. I know it's been a minute. Um, well, I'm back today with another video. Today might be a little bit of a longer video than we're used to. I've got an epic call from the last few weeks. Um, and I've got some really epic things that I want to show you guys. And, uh... I can't wait. So let's get into it. First off, we got a uh, comic book that I've been reading. That I've really enjoyed uh, called Adventure Man. I really do love the art. It's Adventure Man 4. Really do love the art. The storytelling is amazing. The I love how it's the old school era. The old detective uh, era and it's it's pretty awesome. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, great comic book. Um, then I've got this. Um, it's a new uh, book by the DC Black Label. Pretty excited to get into it. Haven't read it yet. Um, heard great things about it. Um, Scott Snyder is a writer on it. So, should be good. Um, American Vamp Vampire 1976, uh, book number one. So, and this is the variant cover. I really do like the art. Should be good. Got this the other day. was really excited. I heard, I've heard a lot of great things about it. I can sell you a body. Uh, says it's a criminal hunt, hunt in four parts by Ryan Ferreira. I really like Ryan Frere's writing, um, and I think this should be really good. So, uh, this is Legend of the Swamp Thing, uh, Halloween Spectacular. Um, uh, what I've seen, this is like a um, compilation, six different stories all in one comic book. Um, I've liked these things from DC, it's been pretty fun. All the other ones that I've read, so let's let's hope let's keep uh, that going. The, and this book is epic. Um, one through eight have been some of the best storytelling in a book. There is not one wasted sentence, not a wasted drop of ink. It is perfection in a comic book, and um, it is getting extremely interesting, and can't wait to get into this. Jeremy Hunt is killing it with this book. Um, I got this last week and have not been able to read it. This is um, Stranger Things. It's going to be a um, four-part series. I love this. I know it's a cover A variant. But I loved it because um, this tells a story about Camp no uh, Nowhere and uh, what happened between Dustin and Susie Poo and all that. So this should be pretty fun. If you are Stranger Things fans, I definitely would suggest getting that. Then we got Stealth 6. I know I've been getting this. I'm missing a couple, so I haven't started reading all of it. I read the first one, no, first two, and they were really good. Really great story. It's about a superhero that is kind of that's got um, Alzheimer's and just trying to like remember things, and, and it's really a humanizing story. Really great. I definitely suggest it. Still, um, I can't remember this one because this one is a virgin variant. The art is amazing. Um, I think, yeah, the unkindness of ravens that's what it is. Just couldn't remember. Um, and it's supposed to be like a uh, like um, the craft so. If you like the craft, maybe you like this. Uh, haven't read it yet, so we'll see. And I have, um, I have just a couple more of the independents. 
Here is the vein. It is a zombie book. I'm mean, not zombie. A a vampire book, and I really have seen very limited about it. But what I have heard has been that it's great and definitely worth a try. Um, and then we got uh, we only find them when they're dead. Uh, two story is really good. Writing is great. Love, love the um, the Demad Zart. It is really great. I definitely suggest getting this. Um, giving it a try. And then we have Marvel. So this starts the Marvel stuff. First off, we have the uh, one that came out last week, variant cover of The Amazing Spider-Man number 49. It is a, it is like a mini trade paperback uh, form. And, um, and then we got the Alex Ross Spider-Man number 50. And I'm excited to get into these. Y'all know what I think about Spider-Man. Love Spider-Man. And this is part of the Sin Eater line. Then we got Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Um, I love the art on this one. Pretty great. Um, and this, this story arc has done really great things. I definitely suggest picking up. Uh, Captain Marvel. Um, and then now we got in, we get into the Ten of Swords. This is the uh, Ten of Swords 8 of 22, and it's cable number 5. I have not read any of the cable. The only reason I picked this up because it goes with the Ten of Swords story, and I um, really want to read those. Um, I will, I, I mean, I go in. I, alphabetical order so through a lot of books once i read or get these books in they go to the back and i just keep reading so a lot of them i haven't got to yet but like this this is hellions number five i've read hellions one through four i've really enjoyed it definitely had to pick this up because the hellions number five is um Ten of Swords, number six. That Alex Ross cover of Phoenix is absolutely gorgeous. Um, then we have New Mutants, number 13, which I haven't read New Mutants, but it ties in to Ten of Swords. So this is Ten of Swords, seven. You have the uh, Colossus Alex Ross cover, which is beautiful. Then you have Silver Surfer, and this is Marauders number 13. Again, I haven't read any of the Marauders, but this is Ten of Swords number 5. And then we have, uh, this is complete away from the, um, the Ten of Swords, because you know I go in order. This is Marvel Zombies Resurrection number 3. Um, which I've really enjoyed this story, um, with the zombies. It's really interesting. Story is great. And definitely suggest picking this up and giving it a read. It's definitely worth it. <clears throat> Sorry about the yawning. Uh, it's been quite a long day today. So, excuse the yawns. Um, this is pretty awesome. I really enjoyed the first Marvel Tales I got, the Captain Britain. Um, it was really great. Goes into depth about the origins of the character. So, being that I love Marvel Zombies, I had to get it. Um, so I'll read it and I'll know the old Marvel Zombies. So, that's pretty exciting. Then we got uh, Strange Academy number three. Um, I've really enjoyed this book. Really great story. Um, love the school. Um, really learning the characters and 
how they develop and how they connect to Doctor Strange is really great. Um, definitely uh, a, a read. Give that a read. And then we have The Strange Academy number three. I had to get this one because it's gorgeous. It is Doctor Strange, Alex Ross cover. Y'all check that out. It's pretty sweet. Um, then we have Thor number five. I've read Thor one through four. Uh, four and um, yeah, I think the Thor, this new Thor by Donny Cates is amazing. The writing doesn't get any better. The art is beautiful and um, definitely a read. And go. I have the Wolverine uh, Alex Ross. This is Wolverine number six. And I will be reading this soon, but I had to get the Alex Ross cover. That thing is gorgeous. The old school Wolverine uh, costume. Then we have X Factor number four. And that is Ten of Swords number two. We have X Force number 13, the Beast Alex Ross cover. Uh, X Force number 13 is X, uh, Ten of Swords number four. And, oh yeah, that Wolverine one is Ten of Swords number three. I forgot to mention that. No, that does it for Marvel. Marvel had some great stuff over the last, um, the last few uh, weeks. Really enjoyed getting my Marvel stuff. But I've been on a huge DC kick lately. Really loving DC. And this, I really can't wait to get into. The, this is the end of the Joker War saga. Um, it is really built up to such a great ending that I cannot wait to get into this. Um, the story has been marvelous. Um, it's like the books never last long enough, and it, and it's that it's good and bad because it leaves you wanting more, and it's just not long enough. But love that. And then I've got the um, Batman, the three Jokers. I have all five variants. I just wanted to show y'all this one. Um, Batman, uh, Three Jokers, uh, book two. Yeah, that cover is beautiful. So, definitely, it's a very dark story. Very interesting. Definitely give it a read. If you love Batman, you love Joker, it's definitely something you want to give a read. And, uh, it's a great story. Um... If you're reading the um, Dark Knight's Death Metal series, you definitely need to get this. This is part of the Doom Metal uh, Justice League uh, 54. You definitely need to read this, in my opinion. Some say you don't have to, but I've been reading all of these, and I say you got to pick it up. It's part of it. You kind of get lost without it. So now we get into... Dark Knight's Death Metal number four. It takes off after the uh, the Trinity Crisis, um, and it and it's really it's a really good story. Um, I really have enjoyed uh, reading this uh, Dark Knight's Death Metal, and I love that cover. That reminds me of the Watchmen. Um, Give it a try. If you love Batman, you love DC, definitely worth it. Now, uh, this is the variant. Oh, sorry. It's really pretty. All right. So now that we got Williams has left uh, the Flash, we have a new writer, a new team, and a new story arc. So I definitely had to pick pick this up with Trickster and holding the flash ring 
with the suit in it. Can't wait to read this. I've really enjoyed the uh, the little one shot flash books I've read, and um, I've really enjoyed about everything I've read from DC so far. DC is killing it. Just wish their movies were as good as their books. Really do. And then I had to get this because I really want to get into the Green Lantern. I've never read Green Lantern, and I think this. I thought this would be a good like uh, jumping off on point. Would be reading this, getting some of the background, some of the history. Uh, this is the eightieth anniversary, one hundred page uh, super page. Has all sorts of stuff in the back about the history, about the characters. So. It's pretty awesome. Ten All New Tales featuring Emerald Knights. And it's just about every uh, Green Lantern from each sector. So, pretty pretty fun book. Um, this next one, if you enjoy The Watchmen, I would suggest picking it up. And that is War Rorschach number one. And... Um, I am really excited about reading this because I love the Watchmen and that cover was great. Um, and Rorschach is my favorite. So, yeah, I'm pretty stoked to get into this. Looks like uh, he's eating his beans down there. The can, like he tends to do. And then last book... Not the least book, but it is um, Strange Adventures number six. And um, can't wait to get into this. This story has been amazing. And um, sorry, my cat and my dog kind of fighting with each other. Um, it's been really good storytelling. Two different artists. I just, I know I sound like a dummy. I just realized it uh, when I, I was watching a review on it and really have just enjoyed this story arc. They've done a great job bringing it to life and uh, can't wait to read more. Can't wait to read this. Now, to, to what I am really excited about getting. My mother, knowing that I'm a huge Walking Dead fan, and knowing that I'm reading the Walking Dead comics again, I was just finished the first compendium. I got the third compendium. This is compendium number three, and this uh, collects issues 97 through 144. That means one compendium to go, and I'll have... All of The Walking Dead, and I am wanting to read them. I'm want, I'm reading them again, and then watching the TV show and kind of picking the things that I notice that are different. And then there, there's a lot more than I really realized because I didn't read the whole series; only read books here and there originally. And now that I'm back into it, I'm noticing a lot of things, and I really, but I really enjoy the. Um, Really enjoy the books. It's amazing. So, and then last but not least, this is amazing. I've wanted this so bad for a while now. Um, I got fa found it on Amazon. This is a $75 cover price book, to let y'all know. And found it on Amazon for 54 53 $53. Then, out of nowhere, I got a uh, thing through my Amazon because I have Prime telling me I had a coupon for it for $18 off. So, for $35 in tax, which was like $37, I could not pass it up. I had to get it. And that is... Batman, Grant Morris by Grant Morrison, Omnibus, Volume One, and I cannot wait to read this. 
dust jacket is beautiful. Let uh, me slip this off real quick. Be careful with it. And then I'll show you what the book looks like. Just gorgeous. And then the art is beautiful. If you haven't read this, I haven't read it. I definitely think this is an amazing um, omnibus. It was an amazing get, amazing find. I got really lucky because I've been wanting to get some omnibuses, especially Batman. And I definitely want a Green Lantern one. The uh, What I really want is that Green Lantern Jeff Johns um, uh, collection. Uh, we'll start with number one. But I think that one would be really awesome, especially with starting to know Green Lantern and then the uh, Golden Age Green Lantern omnibus. But I'm pretty happy with this. This collects Batman 655 through 658, and then number 663 through 683, and then uh, in stories from DC Universe number 0, uh, and 52, and 30, and 47. From groundbreaking artists Andy Kerber, J.H. Williams III, so on and so on, and... Uh, this also has um, some writing from uh, from Jeff Johns, which is great. Um, and, you know, the publisher is Jim Lee. Jim Lee's amazing. Um, but it says, um, trying looking through here, Nick Napolitano. Um, by Grant Morrison, but no, I'm I'm just really really happy that I got this. I'd wanted it. I finally got it. So yeah, that's the haul for this week. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this. If y'all could uh, apologize, if y'all could hit that like button for me. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. Make sure to smash the like, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and y'all know what time it is. It's Kilo Wout, baby.